Hello everyone, welcome to the session. How are you all doing today? Hello guys. Hi Amrish. Hello Ravi. Hi Prasanna. How is everyone doing today? So guys, I hope you're doing really well. I hope you've started giving a lot of mocks. I hope guys that you've started giving a lot of sectionals because now guys we have to leave no stone unturned in our preparation. Okay, we have to pull all the stops guys, whether it is revision, whether it is practice, whether it is sectionals, be it mocks, whatever, whatever opportunity and avenue we have in front of us to test ourselves and to put us through the grind guys, we have to do all of that because now is it's crunch time guys, it's now or never, it's do or die, it's 2020 or 2021. So guys, the choice is yours and that is why I'm sure all of you are vying for CAT 2020 guys. This is why RC revision series, reading comprehension and critical reasoning, very, very important. Are wonderful Ravi. Hi guys, welcome to the session. Hello Amresh. Hi Ravi. Hi Prasanna. Hi Raghav. Hello guys. Hi Amit. Good evening. Hello Shivam, welcome to the session. Hi Dia, I'm good. Hope you're <laughs> yes, Dia. Exactly 18 minutes to be precise. Hena Amresh? Yes, no see. <laughs> okay. So guys, welcome to the session. Hi Prateek. Good to see you here, Prateek. Welcome to the session, everyone. Hello, Megha. Wonderful. Welcome everyone. So today's session is going to be very crucial. It's lesson one. It is the start of a very, very crucial series. It is the start of the RC and critical reasoning series, guys. We are going to practice as many RCs as possible. We are going to practice many critical reasoning questions as possible. Hello. Okay. Hi, Amresh. Hello. Uh -huh. Are, hi, Shivam. Welcome to the session. Hi, Sayani. Hello, Azad. Glad to see all of you join in. So, guys, quickly inform all your friends to join in the session because we are about to start the session. Okay, so a reminder to everyone that it's very important to subscribe to the channel Cat for Day MBA Live daily. Entire preparation, RC ho, CR ho, LR ho, DI ho, strategy ho, quant ho, what GK ho. Entire preparation on this channel, guys. So please subscribe, everyone. Hi, Dhanushree. Welcome to the session. Technique, practice exercise today as well. Subscribe to the group Unacademy Cat for MBA. Also subscribe to the group Unacademy underscore Ritu Dudhoria for your entire VRC preparation. Link in the description below, guys. So everyone click on the link. Be a part of the Telegram group. You do not want to miss out. Everyone, I want you to take the plus subscription. And guys, those who are new, uh, what's our tradition, guys? Abhi tak. Hi, Sakshi. Welcome to the session. So guys, if it's plus time, are they are true to tradition. Wonderful. So guys, if it's plus time, uh, it's also jingle time. Array. Okay, let's take Diya's uh, jingle. Okay, Diya says, uh, Ranbir Kapoor says, Yehi umar hai, kar le galti se mistake, because he's settled in life, <laughs> but we aren't. So the only way for us to get settled in life is to take the plus subscription using Ritu MBA. Are wonderful. <laughs> Diya, I must say, how did you think of this, Diya? I really, I mean, itna innovative and itna creative, I didn't, I didn't know. Wonderful, guys. Very nice. Yes. So, if you do not want to do any galtis, and especially if you do not want to do any galtis in your exams, guys, I want all of you to take the plus subscription. Ravi, short and simple. Up to plus lelo sub. Correct, guys. Everybody have to take the plus subscription, guys. Okay. And let's become the jagajasus of our lives. Are you wonderful, guys. Okay, so it's struck. Very good. Great, guys. Wonderful. I want, ha, cat me ek 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 one one mistake mega padega, correct, Raghav? So I do not want you to make any mistakes, guys. Take the plus subscription. Use the code Ritu MBA while taking the plus subscription. One subscription access to all the areas. Okay, guys. Ritu MBA only. Come on. Amit, are Amresh, I was wondering. Amresh ka jingle nahi dikha. So, guys. Please attend the live special classes, free live special classes on the Unacademy Learning app as well. Join the group. You will get the entire link and schedule to my sessions. View my previous plus courses and everybody enroll to the ongoing plus course. Okay? Detailed VARC practice course. Today we discuss CR, OMETs. We discuss decision making. 
lots of areas pending guys so come on i want all of you to enroll and be a part of these uh, sessions rohit i can't see your jingle amresh couldn't see your jingle no amresh not yet visible okay come on guys shall we start with the session okay so now guys what is very uh, rohit amresh put it on the group i'll read it out from there but guys good to see all your josh put it on the group i'll read it out there so prateek this is this has become a little culture of your friends uh, whenever the plus light comes in they've started they've come up with innovative uh, ways to convince their non plus friends to take up plus so they've they they come up with nice jingles and stories and skits and all of that <laughs> hi prachi so okay amresh is jingle is here not tomorrow not next week not when you have time start now by enrolling plus and use only mam's code ritu mba to in <laughs> to inflate your percentile inflate guys yes magic are thank you amresh hashtag magician of vrc hashtag let's apply the lucky code ritu mba wonderful guys very 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 innovative amresh i must say very well put hi prachi welcome to the session okay everyone come on guys are you all are you all ready guys shall we begin with the session hi ana wonderful guys today okay rohit put it on the group i'll read it as well thank god i could attend this lecture aaj full ha ha prachi i heard that i heard that but glad that you are able to attend the lecture okay guys come on Now see guys uh whenever we have discussed reading comprehension before we started with the RC week also which week did i take you through which week is very crucial guys if you want to ace RC it is very very important to ace what if we have to ace RC what should we ace come on if we want to ace RC we have to ace critical reasoning critical reasoning is basically the foundation it's the bedrock it's basically the entire yes uh, critical reasoning is very 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 crucial and considering the change in the cat pattern also guys we can expect more more focus on critical reasoning so that's why we i have an rc passage plan for you today as well but are very good correct correct ravi so guys rc is inverse cr are i hadn't thought of this ravi telling you the truth have been teaching for many, almost a decade and till now i very innovative ravi rc inverse is cr or cr ka inverse is rc yes so they both are very very interrelated and connected so i want all of you to start focusing on it so that's why guys keeping true to the tradition and keeping true to how we should prepare and how you should all prepare first we'll look at critical reasoning questions and then we'll go to rc yes or no guys is it correct Okay, Rohit ka jingle. I will quickly read it, and then we will start. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, take plus using Ritu MBA. As all your exams are just on the way. Arey, wonderful, very nice, Rohit. Very innovative. Keeping the jingle bell feel alive. Okay, shall we begin with the questions, guys? Okay, now I want all of you to tell me first which are the areas. Come on, guys. Which are the areas of critical reasoning? Come on. Come on, guys. Let's wait. Let's see this. Come on, guys. Before I come to this, first I want all of you to give me a prelude. One minute. We'll we'll do a little bit of discussion because I can see that some of you are new today. So come on, guys. Tell me which are the areas of critical reasoning, and it wouldn't hurt to revise. Come on. Which are the areas of critical reasoning? Assumption. Okay. Inference. conclusion okay assumption inference conclusion strengthening and weakening of argument strengthening and weakening of argument very good flaw in reasoning parallel reasoning paradox bold face okay so guys these are the areas of correct these are the areas of critical reasoning 
Now, come on, guys. I'll give you a brief understanding and a brief description of all of these areas before we can delve right into the questions. Okay, because it never hurts to refresh our memory. What are the things that we have to consider? Where are the and also, guys, I will also tell you where are the areas that you're going wrong, and what are the areas which many students don't, you know, learn from others' mistakes as well. Okay, so guys, these areas and plus, then we'll look at questions on all of these areas. Sare areas, bold face se leke sabhi areas pe questions hai. Okay, so come on guys, let's understand this. Now, I want all of you to understand guys, assumption. What is assumption? In order to get an assumption question right, just understand this. And you will always get an que assumption question right. What do you have to understand? See guys, passage may kuch stated facts diye hote hai. Passage has certain stated facts and the passage has a main argument or the passage has a main conclusion. What you have to do to fill the gap is assumption. Assumption is an unstated fact. Unstated fact which will help us to arrive at the conclusion. Did you understand this? So since I understand that quan makes more sense to all of you sometimes. Stated facts what is given in the passage. Argument or conclusion will be given in the passage. The assumption is basically what the author was thinking. Author kya soch ra tha? What is the reason behind the argument? It may be a logical assumption. It may be an illogical assumption. That is okay. But it is basically the author's perspective. It is basically the author's perspective. Did all of you understand this? Hi Shikha. Why has the author not stated it exactly, Sakshi? Author did not want to waste his ink. Author did not want to waste his pen. He thought that the students are smart enough in order to understand it. Okay, so it is something that the author takes for granted that the reader already knows it or the reader already understands it. That is why the author has not mentioned it. Clear, everyone? Assumption. Is it clear? Yes or no, guys? Everybody got assumptions clearly? We'll practice questions on it. Don't worry. But did you understand? It's basically the gap. The gap in the question. Something that's implied but not mentioned. Samaj mein aata hai but diya nahi gaya hai. Obvious hoga but mention nahi kiya hai. Got it? Okay. So that's an assumption. Now what is inference and conclusion? Now understand the difference guys. Inference and conclusion is both what we understand from the question. What we understand from the question. Now, the difference comes in here. Conclusion, guys, is something which is definitely true according to the passage. Definitely true according to the passage. 100% true according to the passage. Definitely true according to the passage. So, what you directly get from the facts is the conclusion. What is an inference? Inference could involve certain assumptions. That's why inference can be definitely true. It can also be probably true. It can be definitely true. It can also be probably true. Did all of you understand this? Yes or no? Yes or no, guys? Inference probably true bhi ho sakta hai. Inference definitely true bhi ho sakta hai. Inference can also involve assumptions. When we watch movie, guys, all of us infer. All of us infer. And our inferences are different because we draw from our own experiences. So inferences can be different, but conclusion is standard. That's why in inference, guys, mainly focus on the elimination method. Mainly focus on the elimination method. Because inferences can be subjective sometimes. So mainly focus on the elimination method. Something which is too extreme. Something which is too out of context. Do not choose that or do not select that. Okay. Now, next one, guys. Strengthening and weakening of argument. Please do not make this mistake again and again. Kal humne doubt solving session mein bhi, we had seen this. Correct. Yes, Prasanna. Which of the following is suggested by the passage? Suggested by the passage is basically an inference based question. Correct. Now, guys, understand this. Whenever you strengthen, whenever you weaken, never touch the fact. Data. Data ko touch nahi karna hai. It is a big no no. Nobody is going to strengthen the data. Nobody is going to weaken the data. You're going to strengthen and weaken only the argument. Author's argument, author's conclusion. Data ko touch bhi nahi karna hai. That is why you go wrong. Many times there are two options. One option will be strengthening the data. One option would be strengthening the argument. 
you have to strengthen the argument not the data you have to strengthen the author's opinion please make a note of it second point when you're strengthening guys it's not a repetition strengthening means making it stronger when i'm making it stronger you're adding you can add more information you can add more facts you can add more evidence but all within the context of the passage within the boundary within the boundary no prachi arguments are not always given at the end argument shuru mein bhi aa sakta hai argument beech mein bhi aa sakta hai whichever looks like the author's opinion for example prachi if i say now kings 11 punjab must up their game kings 11 punjab must up their game then the, this is the author's argument now then he says because you know in the recent matches we have seen that kings 11 punjab has been losing very close games uh, you know they have what it takes so guys losing very close games etc this becomes fact they have to up their game becomes the author's argument to wo shuru mein aa gaya so argument can come anywhere did all of you understand this now if you have to strengthen it you don't have to say that yes they've lost a lot of close games again no you have to give some other data you have to give some additional evidence you have to give some additional proof did you understand this exactly the perfect yes the hierarchy wala argument first line mein bhi aa sakta hai very good now weakening guys is something that most of you are going wrong with now weakening ke liye ek approach samajh lo first see guys understand what is the author's argument then what you do is reverse the argument so if the author says kings 11 punjab must up their game reverse it kings 11 punjab need not up their game kings 11 now kings 11 punjab need not up their game so reverse bana lo before going into the options make the reverse make the reverse did you understand this yes or no so make the reverse and then see which option supports the reversal then see which option supports the reversal did all of you understand this ओके रवि प्रसन्ना एक बार रिफ्रेश करो ओके ओके गाइस आई एम व्यूइंग अलोंग विद यू टुडे सो दैट आई कैन चेक इफ देयर आर एनी लैग्स एज़ वेल समटाइम्स ओके कम ऑन गाइस सो सी द आर्गुमेंट रिवर्स द आर्गुमेंट एंड देन कम टू द ऑप्शंस हां नो दे आर डोंट हैव एन ओपिनियन ऑफ योर ओन हैव अ रिवर्सल ऑफ द ओपिनियन रेडी नेवर ब्रिंग योर ओन थॉट्स व्हाटएवर द ऑथर हैज सेड इफ द ऑथर सेज नॉट मेक इट डू नॉट यस just reverse it got it everyone yes or no clear with this everyone do not bring in your own assumptions do not bring in your own perspectives do not bring in your own opinions do not think for the author got it do not think for the author whatever is given just uska reversal that's all got it okay come on guys next one flaw in reasoning now there are many types of fallacies guys we have done an entire special class on all the types of fallacies those who have missed out on it please uh, whenever you get a chance do view it i will post some important i have understood guys that some of you are facing difficulties in figures of speech and fallacies i will post the link of those sessions once again on the group today please go through all the flaws in reasoning we have done generalization red herring fallacy sare flaws humne ekdam detail mein discuss kiye hain okay yes uh, yes dhanashree i'll definitely dhanashree uh, reach out reach out to me on the group i will give you the entire overview of the uh, tis uh, rc got it similar it's similar but it's it's a little more uh, it's same guys basically whatever whenever you look at it theek hai snap mein thoda sa aur factual ho jata hai uh, nmat mein thoda sa aur central idea based ho jata hai this and zat and cat are more or less closer they are more or less similar yes yes azad even in uh, badhanishree uh, detailed discussion we'll have it on the group okay so yes azad uh, extra data yes strengthening and weakening both need extra information but within the scope of the passage correct azad okay so now guys flaw in reasoning basically means now also understand this करेक्ट रवि आई एफ टी का आर सी बहुत लंबा है आई एफ टी आर सी इज वेरी वेरी लेंदी बट रवि मेनी क्वेश्चन आर डिरेक्ट सो इधर यू कैन अडोप्ट सेक्शनल रीडिंग और रिवर्स रीडिंग देर ओके लाइक टूडे वी सॉ इन स्नैप रिवर्स रीडिंग गाइज स्पेशली नाउ दट दाइम इज रेड्यूस सो मच ओके कम ऑन नाउ फ्लॉ इन रीजनिंग गाइज नाउ डिफरेंस बिटवीन वीकनिंग एंड फ्लॉ 
difference between weakening and flaw now guys when you're looking at weakening of argument does not mean that the author's argument is stupid does not mean that the author's argument is illogical did you understand this does not mean that the author's argument is stupid does not mean that the author's argument is hasty does not mean ki usme koi galti hai author sahi bol raha hoga but we just have to show the author no but see you might be saying the truth but look in this situation it might not work out you might be saying the truth but look why don't you also take this into consideration did you understand this weakening may the author's argument need not be illogical the author's argument need not be flawed it might be correct kings 11 punjab need to up their game kings 11 punjab need to up their game see guys basically understand this i'll put it in this way i'll put it in this way weakening and flaw in reasoning has been a pain for most of you and you've been asking me this i'll put it in this way fact fact Conclu argument argument when the argument makes sense according to the facts जस्टिफाइड है मतलब फैक्ट के बेसिस पे ये वी कैन टेक आउट दिस आर्ग्यूमेंट इट कुड बी अकनिंग क्वेश्चन ठीक है यू जस्ट हैव टू रिवर्स इट बट बट बेस्ड ऑन द फैक्ट दिस आर्ग्यूमेंट डज नॉट मेक सेंस सम क्वेश्चन मार्क्स दिस इज फ्लॉ डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इन वीकनिंग द आर्ग्यूमेंट मे बी जस्टिफाइड इन वीकनिंग द आर्ग्यूमेंट मे बी जस्टिफाइड अब ऑथर बोल रहा है किंग्स इलेवन पंजाब इज लूजिंग सो मेनी गेम्स इट हैज द टैलेंट इट्स लूजिंग सो मेनी गेम्स इट नीड्स टू अप देयर गेम इट मेक्स सेंस इट मेक्स सेंस ओके बट इफ आई से इफ द ऑथर सेज दैट किंग्स इलेवन यू नो इट मेक्स सेंस गाइस सो अंडरस्टैंड दिस यहां पे आर्गुमेंट कैन मेक सेंस इट मे बी जस्टिफाइड अकॉर्डिंग टू द फैक्ट्स इट मे बी जस्टिफाइड अकॉर्डिंग टू द डेटा यू जस्ट हैव टू से नो 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 बट लुक एट दिस सिनेरियो got it everyone yes or no correct diya but here the fact and the argument mein kuch gol mal hai author ne fact ko theek se samjha nahi hai if the fact is let's say talking about literacy rate of karnataka author ne bol diya literacy rate of india argument mein if the fact is talking about uh, you know uh, dogs help to improve heart rate author ne bol diya theek hai all senior citizens need to own dogs तो वो थोड़ा सा मतलब अटपटा लगता है वेर एवर इज हैज नॉट अंडरस्टूड और इंटरप्रेटेड द फैक्ट करेक्टली ओके सो देर इन बिकम्स द फ्लॉ इन रीजनिंग ओके द पंजाब वाला में फ्लॉ सो रोहित द ऑथर सेज दके सो देन रोहित द ऑथर इज नॉट गिवन डेटा टू प्रूव इट द ऑथर इज नॉट गिवन डेटा टू प्रूव इट ही सेज पंजाब मस्ट अप द गेम नाउ पंजाब नीड्स टू प्ले बेटर Uh, punjab needs to uh, put in all their effort to win that become circular reasoning argument 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 hai but it's not justified there's no data did you understand this either the data is not there the data is scanty the data is insufficient the data is contradictory so data or argument ke beech mein mismatch hai that is when a flaw occurs did all of you understand this now yes or no did you understand here the argument need not be illogical here the argument needs to be illogical as simple as that as simple as that got it everyone okay okay come on parallel reasoning parallel reasoning is a very frequently asked question guys bahut baar cat exam mein rcs pe integrate hua hai correct diya and that to the same argument again and again same argument again and again that becomes more of circular reasoning correct okay parallel reasoning is basically you have a passage the idea of the passage which option these are application questions ye application questions hai okay so which option has the same idea or which option has the same logic now paragraph can be about cats and dogs but uh, options can be about owls and pigeons and lions and elephants that's okay they might be completely unrelated but which applies the same idea okay okay amit's doubt ma'am agar argument mein some time hai and options mein before one week hai is this a weakening question of flaw in reasoning but amit how can i how can we say that How can we say that? Flaw in reasoning का पता हमको argument और options compare करके नहीं पता चलेगा 
फैक्ट और आर्ग्यूमेंट कंपेयर करके चलेगा सो इफ यूर सींग फैक्ट सेज समाइम एंड आर्ग्यूमेंट सेज वन वीक देन देर इज अ गैप एंड देन दैट कुड बी अ फ्लॉ इन रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू कंपेयर द फैक्ट एंड द आर्ग्यूमेंट नॉट द क्वेश्चन एंड द ऑप्शन गॉट इट ओके ओके गाइज कम ऑन Paradox. We have a lot of paradox questions today, guys. Paradox is basically some sort of contradiction. Okay, something does not add up. There's a positive cause but a negative effect, or there is a negative cause but a positive effect. Something does not add up. You've studied well. You have worked your asses off. You've studied really well, but still you failed. Something does not add up. Okay, you posted all the letters, but the letters did not get delivered. Something does not add up. Okay, you paid the bill on time before the due date. Still, you were charged a late fee. Something does not add up. There is a contradiction. Got it, everyone? Some, some. So you either have you have to find out that there is a puzzle, guys. This is basically a conundrum or a puzzle. ये थोड़ा सा conundrum है. Conundrum means some sort of a dilemma, some sort of a confusion which you might be asked to solve. Okay, and bold face. Two sections of the passage will be given in bold. You have to see what is the relationship between the two sections. The two sections are agreeing with each other. The two sections contradict each other. Ah, uh, one is the conclusion, the other one is the uh, support. One is the conclusion, the other one is a weakening point. So we look into this when we come to the questions. But did all of you get a brief idea, guys? Did you get a brief idea? So now understand this. Here, inference and conclusion. Jitna data me diya hai, usse usse zada bahar nahi jana hai. Strengthening and weakening me additional data dena hai. Parallel reasoning, paradox are more of application questions. Okay. Now, guys, let me come to the most common errors that I've seen students make, especially in the last few weeks, and. But when I say students, guys, you might be those students. Okay, so come on, guys. I'll just help you with this. आज हमने जो question किया था, कल हमने जो question किया था, उसके basis पे. Yes, yes, Ashish. We're just moving into the questions. See, guys, understand these main points. Whatever you do, do to the argument. Fact is untouchable. Fact is absolute. कभी fact को छेड़ना मत. Always go with the arguments. Please read the question stem carefully. Read the question stem carefully. Like today, three p.m. plus class. It was not what can be inferred from the passage. It was, uh, you know, how the passage could. Which option can the passage be inferred from? Did you understand this, guys? Yes, Prachi. Paradoxical. So, guys, please read the question stem carefully. Do not be hasty. Okay, focus mainly on the argument or the opinion. Read the question stem carefully. Please look into the context. And Amit is the uh, Amit is what? Amit is the flaw there. Amit, what are you? You're the assumption. You're the flaw, or you're the you're the correct piece in the puzzle. So please focus on the context. Okay, got it, everyone. Did all of you understand this? Okay. Come on, guys. Let's start with the questions. Okay, so Ashish, but for that, I want you to. कितने marks? उससे पहले हमको पता लगना पड़ेगा कि Cat ने exactly कितने questions plan किए हैं. Okay, now if we are assuming that there are twenty five questions, let us say we assume that there are twenty five questions. Okay, aim for around again. I would say around. Uh, Suppose twenty twenty five questions है तो आपने twenty two attempt किए let's say और उसमें से twenty सही हुए okay so I would say around again I would I would like you to go around sixty again I would still like you to go around sixty okay okay guys come on shall we start with the questions guys yes or no shall we begin with the questions. Fifty to sixty k bracket me, okay. Come on, guys. Let's start with the questions. Okay, ten questions on critical reasoning, then one passage. Come on, guys. Rocket speed. Ekdam rocket speed. Chalo. 
whatever that means but anyway come on guys all of you go ahead come on fat up fat strongly supports separate the fact from the argument guys come on focus on this come on come on everyone guys is there a lag no right okay come on fat fat okay ashish says a ravi says a rohit says a raghav says a dia a amit a majority a ke sath hai aur main majority ke sath hu guys very good the answer option is a very good very good guys good azad come on guys let's quiz since most of you have got it right i'm not going to spend a lot of time on this okay d b hai chalo but let's see this quickly see guys uh, the paintings have deteriorated paintings have deteriorated but it says the paints adjust the paint adjust to these changes well then why did the paintings deteriorate fir paintings deteriorate kyu hai it says it is a layer of material called gesso because of this gesso this deterioration has happened so gesso is responsible for deterioration correct the gesso ki wajah se that is responsible for the deterioration so which has a thin layer of gesso they are less likely to show deterioration that means thin layer of gesso less deterioration thick layer of gesso more deterioration that means this deterioration has happened because of gesso correct very good renaissance all paintings are painted on wooden panels which swell when humidity but this guys blames it on wood we have to blame it on gesso so answer option b nikal jayega oil paint expands and contracts readily in response to changes in temperature but it absorbs little water and so is okay but amit this is the fact na this is strengthening the fact amit hypothesis hypothesis is about gesso read the question stem carefully do not strengthen the fact amit abhi abhi kiya tha humne ye fact ko touch bhi nahi karna hai guys this is strengthening the fact the fact says yes that the paint adjusts well done we have to strengthen the gesso okay so c goes out and especially hard and non absorbent type of gesso was the raw material for moldings on the frames of renaissance oil painting but this does not explain what how is this linked to deterioration how is this linked to deterioration got it prachi gesso layers applied by renaissance painters typically consisted of a coarse base layer on to which okay but this also does not say how it's linked to deterioration this is the only option which links gesso to deterioration got it hi sagar welcome to the session clear everyone come on sagar only first question done come on catch up guys next question very good very good guys come on keep a tally guys ki 10 me se kitne questions aapko sahi mil rahe till now most of you have got one out of one come on ha huh, correct ravi that special type of gesso but still that time they would have used a special type of gesso maybe for a good appeal 
or maybe for a good look or maybe for durability at that time but over time maybe that special type gesso didn't hold up again the problem is how is it linked to deterioration did it cause deterioration did it protect from deterioration so what deterioration ka point explain nahi hai usme correct okay come on come on guys which is an assumption assumption on which the argument please focus on the argument come on understand the fact correctly guys understand the historical point of view correctly archaeologists working in the andes mountain recently excavated a buried 4000 year old temple come on ashish look into it once clearly okay b d what about the others namrita says b sakshi also says b sagar says b pratik says d why guys you were going so well amresh says a rohit says a raghav says a guys very good the answer option is a very good amresh very good rohit very good raghav and ravi wonderful guys but don't worry those who didn't get it right let's look into this come on let's look into this excellent shivam come on let's look into this everyone archaeologists working in the andes mount andes mountains recently excavated a buried 4000 year old temple containing structures that align with a stone carving on a distant hill to indicate the direction of the rising sun at the summer solstice so containing structures that align with a stone carving on a distant hill so it indicates the direction of the rising sun alignments in the temple were also found to point towards the position at the summer solstice so everything points towards the same direction of a constellation known in the andean culture as the fox since the local mythology represents the fox as teaching people how to cultivate and irrigate plants The ancient Andeans may have built the temples as a religious representation of the fox. So this is the argument that they may have built the temple as a religious representation. Religious representation. Okay. The constellation known as the fox has the same position at the summer solstice as it did four thousand years ago. Now see, guys, I just want you to look at this. This is past. This is past. this local mythology represents the fox as teaching people this is still continuing in the present how did this present mythology how is it based on the past there should be some connection yes or no there should be some connection even today they believe in it even today it's thought on how to cultivate and irrigate the plants so can i say that it is it's connected with something in the past hi ana it's connected with the direction of the rising sun this is connected with the direction of the rising sun yes or no got it okay so come on i'll keep it on hold so the, it has been in the same position as it did 4000 years ago us time bhi relevant tha aaj bhi relevant hai us time bhi direction of the rising sun tha today also the legend continues today also the legend continues i'll explain this once more but look at the other options once look at e The site containing the temple was occupied for a significant amount of time before abandonment. Irrelevant. Other structural alignments point to further, but we are not looking at other. Irrelevant. The temple was protected from looters. Completely irrelevant. In the region around the temple, the summer solstice marks the time for planting. Now this could be close. This could be close. Okay. Now. 
but look at this guy this is talking about may have built the temple as a religious representation may have built the temple as a religious representation so when they built the temple they took into consideration the direction yes or no i should talk about their arch the temple i should relate the temple architecture with cultivation i should relate the temple architecture with the cultivation temple architecture was done keeping a position in mind correct temple architecture was done keeping a culture a position in mind that position pointed towards the fox and this culture also relates today to a fox yes or no guys yes or no did you understand this so guys this is basically what we require see the constellation known as the fox has the same position at the summer solstice as it did 4000 years ago only if it had the same position tabhi to this temple architecture and religious interpretation can be linked varna abhi kya logo ko sapna aayega got it everyone yes or no only because this temple architecture direction and this religious representation has remained the same that is why this past temple architecture can be linked to the present belief did all of you understand this guys clear got it dia yes or no so this is the missing blank this will give further clarity on this argument okay very good guys but that was a difficult question so those who have got it right wonderful very good come on next question guys next question good good dhanushree good prateek come on everyone next question on your screen ha huh, why not b is your point because okay i'll come to that one minute in the region around the temple the summer solstice marks the beginning of planting now see represents as teaching people how to plant how to cultivate and irrigate plants is it necessary that it has to be related to the time of planting shouldn't you also take the fox into consideration you can teach people how to cultivate and irrigate plants but is it necessary it has to be done only at the time of planting did all of you understand this yes or no main focus should be on the constellation the main focus since this is linked to the fox or the constellation come on next one explains the difference guys there's a paradox question you have to resolve or explain the paradox you have to resolve the paradox come on come on guys come on quickly guys come on everyone come on okay dia says d what about the others rohit d prateek d amit c ha raghav will explain the question okay guys come on let's look into this so most of you are leaning towards d guys and the answer is d way to go guys wonderful wonderful guys come on let's look into this don't worry those who have not got it right let's understand this once okay good very good dia come on 
the rate at which a road wears wears depends on various factors including climate amount of traffic size weight of vehicles using it the only land trans okay guys everybody refresh everybody refresh those who have been facing a lag refresh guys refresh come on guys refresh karo ek bar sabke sab ha huh, i'll repeat guys come on yes guys ask everybody else to refresh ask everybody else to refresh once done okay come on guys so see now i'll explain this till here abhi tak maine sirf yahan tak bola hai Now listen to this, guys. So there is a road. One way the traffic is going towards seaport, and the other way the traffic is coming away from seaport. Till here, did all of you understand this? One side carrying traffic to it, one side carrying traffic away from it. Done. The side leaving to the seaport, the side leading to the seaport, this side has worn faster. Either or, gadde hain. This has worn faster. even though each side has carried virtually the same amount of traffic mainly the large truck agar traffic same hai so then guys is side pe gadde zyada kyu hai did all of you understand this if the traffic was same if it was similar why was this side more you know why was this side more severely affected why did this face greater wear and tear did all of you understand this till here clear guys till here yes or no everyone okay now guys let's look at this truck same hoga large truck truck ka size same hoga traffic same hoga uh rohit refresh the volume of traffic to and from little seaport has increased beyond the intended capacity but if it's increased it has to be there both both should be equal where on the highway that serves ritland seaport is considerably greater but then that should be on both the sides where on the side of the highway that leads to has encouraged people to take buses irrelevant so why is this happening a greater tonnage heavy is side or heavy hai did you all understand this truck same hoga par us truck mein hai kya isme here goes in the fill trucks here go in the fill trucks here let's say come the empty trucks so definitely here the wear and tear would be greater did all of you understand this yes or no guys yes or no clear everyone heavy trucks empty trucks that's all that accounts for the paradox aisa difference kyu hai because of the weight of the ton the tonnage okay Come on, guys. Let's try the last couple of questions, and then we'll take this discussion forward tomorrow. Kal hamara lesson two hoga. Uh, we'll uh, can we do two more questions, guys? Are you all game for two more questions? Yes or no? Shall we try out two more questions? Yes. Yes. Okay. So totally there were fourteen questions, guys. But don't worry. We'll continue with it in next class also. Come on, guys. Let's try this. Which of the following logically completes? It's a para completion question. Come on, everyone. Para completion question. Come on. Ha diya, ha diya. Remind me to read diya. I will send it across. Just remind me. Okay. Come on, guys. Good, good, everyone. Wonderful, guys. I want to remind all of you. Take the plus subscription. We are doing, guys. Our jo plus ka revision courses hai. very crucial at this stage so trust me guys last mile do not miss out on it take the plus plan and while taking out taking it guys use the code ritu mba okay everyone no other code guys press the like button on the video press the share button press the subscribe button subscribe to the channel guys click the notifications icon every day 8 pm do not miss out guys varc entire revision come on Come on, guys.
आशीष चेक लिटल कमान आशीष सागर थोड़ा सा देखो कमान गाइस पैरा कंप्लीशन कैन बी अ लिटल ट्रिकी कमान logically complete focus on the word complete guys it should not continue it it should complete it come on come on guys amresh says d So I've got an A. I've got a D. What about the others? Come on, Amrish, Sagar, Prasanna, Ashish, Diya, Namrata, Amit, Sakshi, Pratik, Shivam, Azad, Raghav. Come on, Ravi. Come on, Sakshi. Come on, everyone. Guys, where is Riti today? Where is Riti today? Good. Okay. Dhanushri says A. Rohit says B. नम्रता डी सो एव गॉट ए बी डी आशीष सेज बी ओके ओके गाइज सो कम ऑन गुड वेरी गुड रोहित एंड आशीष वंडरफुल गाइज वेरी गुड वेरी गुड आई मास से रोहित आई मास से आशीष वेरी गुड द आंसर ऑप्शन इज बी एवरी वन बी है गुड दिया वंडरफुल वेरी गुड रवि करेक्ट द आंसर ऑप्शन इज बी Okay, now come on, guys. Let's look into this. Those who have not got it right, do not worry. Come on, dekhte, guys. Understand the approach. Understand the method. Good sagar. Come on. United States politician. Although the amount of United States goods shipped to Mexico in the doubled in the year after tariffs on trade between two countries were reduced. When tariffs were reduced, when tariffs were reduced, trade doubled. Okay, the amount of goods shipped doubled. It does not follow that the reduction in tariffs caused the sales of United States goods to companies and consumers in Mexico to double that year. This happened. This happened. But the author is saying it did not happen. This did not happen because of this. A happened. B happened. But the author says B did not happen because of A. Did all of you understand this? Yes or no? Did you understand the point? Tariffs were reduced, trade doubled. But the author is saying that it it does not follow. Ah, uh, trade did not double because of the tariffs. Because why? Maybe there is some other reason. Maybe there is some other reason. Correct? Let's see. Many of the United States companies that produced goods that year had competitors based in Mexico that had long produced the same kinds of goods. If they had competitors that produce the same kinds of goods, then why did the trade double? Must be because of the tariff only, na? Competition bhi tha, fir bhi you know people are preferring United States goods, but why? Maybe because of the tariffs. We still don't know. This still could be maybe. This still could be maybe because of the tariffs. Hi, Anna. It still could be because of the tariffs. Yes or no? Most of the increase in goods shipped by the United States companies to Mexico was in parts shipped to the company's newly relocated subsidiaries for assembly, and subsequent shipment back to the United States. Now understand this: most of the increase in the goods shipped, the goods that shipped, the goods shipped increased because they sent it to for assembly, and then it came back. So was it because of was it real? Can you really call this as trade, guys? Can you really call this as trade? No. This was not mainly because of trade and tariff. This is basically वहाँ पे assembly के गया था और वहाँ पे वापस आ गया. This does not mean. तो ये बोल रहा है कि it is not like the trade between U.S. and Mexico has increased. Trade has not increased. अरे they are just gone there to assemble. That's all. Maybe because labor is cheap there. Did all of you understand this? Yes or no, guys? Did you understand B? Everyone, I'll explain the other options. But did you understand B? They've just gone there for assembly and they've come back to the United States. So you cannot actually call it as trade. Same company ka subsidiary me ja kar ban kar aaye. So it's not like the company is exporting anything to Mexico. It's just has a factory in Mexico. That's all. That's why the goods shipped has doubled. Okay. 
marketing goods to a previously unavailable group of consumers is more successful when ed- completely irrelevant advertising and marketing completely irrelevant the amount of mexican goods shipped to the united states remain the same irrelevant irrelevant we are talking about usa to mexico you're not talking about mexico to usa did all of you understand this understand the context of the passage passage is about us to mexico amount of uh, united states goods shipped to mexico this is talking about amount of mexican goods that's a whole different ball game so iska reason ye nahi ho sakta because got it okay there was no significant change in the employment rate so then why did this change happen so guys answer option is b all of you understood this hi ana hi ana guys clear everyone comprehended guys yes or no yes okay very good come on let's try one more question guys come on which of the following hypothesis is best supported by the observations come on come on everyone think a little i know all of you can get this right last question guys let's end it with a bang come on all of you should get this right go ahead everyone come on come on guys plurality we hear means majority of the students eastern big city more liberal more open minded state supported southern side colleges more conservative more closed minded that does not matter from where the student came it was more to do with where the college was located सीनियर्स में ज्यादा थे तो मतलब कॉलेज का ही कोई इन्फ्लुएंस होगा कम ऑन इट डिड नॉट मैटर फ्रॉम वेर दे केम इनिशियली सीनियर्स फ्रेशर्स से ज्यादा ऐसे थे सो वाई आर सीनियर्स वाई वॉज दिस मोर प्रोनाउंस्ड इन सीनियर्स प्रॉबेबली बिकॉज ऑफ समथिंग टू डू विद द यूनिवर्सिटी द सीनियर्स हैव स्पेंड मोर टाइम इन द यूनिवर्सिटी दैन द जूनियर्स और द फ्रेशर्स हैव सो द ऑथर इज क्लियरली इंडिकेटिंग कि हाँ कॉलेज से ही कुछ रिलेटेड है southern colleges are more conservative or they teach students to be more conservative big city private colleges are more liberal or open minded come on okay dia says b sagar says b rohit says b i i it's it's solved already guys isn't it the question is solved already the answer is pretty straightforward from here on okay rohit says b sagar says b sakshi says b raghav bhi bol raha hai b okay what about the others prasanna says b pratik says b ashish says d uh is it only state sponsored or private or is it also eastern and southern this is incomplete aadha hai ashish this is aadha b the political orientations of the college seniors depends significantly on experiences they've had while in college so college ka location college ka orientation that is why the students are behaving in this way D is also close, guys. But D में सिर्फ state और private पर ही पूरा ठेकरा को, you know, पूरा डाल दिया है blame. But here it's not just about private and state. It's also about the the uh, region where the college is located. Did you understand this, guys? Very good. The answer option is B. A. The political orientations of college students are more similar to their parents. Irrelevant. College senior come you originally from the south is more likely to be politically conservative. Then, but this does not say about senior and junior का difference. Senior और fresher में क्यों फर्क है? 
college students tend to become more conservative this will apply for all colleges then got it guys ha see me guys ye doubt hai ki diya this talks about south see this is talking about state versus private this is talking about south versus east but it's about south plus state and east plus private both of these options are half and half and it's also about seniors and freshers did you understand this so that is why ye dono options aadha aadha hai both of these options are incomplete did all of you understand this guys clear yes or no yes got it everyone got it very good so guys we will take up more these more of these questions tomorrow we'll continue with our discussions tomorrow everyone okay so i have very good progress done today guys hope your doubts are cleared but guys rc critical reasoning major focus hona chahiye is time pe major focus hona chahiye is time pe agar rc isko ace karna hai to critical reasoning ko ace karna bahut zaruri hai language and logic should go hand in hand guys language and logic should go hand in hand okay good guys i'll keep you posted on that dia okay ha sakshi yes 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 sure definitely aaj pakka okay so come on guys i want all of you to take the plus subscription use the code ritu mba no other code press the like button guys press the share button on the videos take the subscription use the code ritu mba very crucial at this stage guys everything in our capacity to get these question right ha done diya pakka okay yes i'm rish you too enjoy the match guys enjoy the rest of your evening enjoy your dinner and guys i will see you all okay guys done pakka today assignments coming your way on the group okay yes raghav i want you to focus mainly on critical reasoning raghav and at least 3 days in a week 3 days you might not be going full fledged on it yet but a lot at least 3 days in a week raghav to rcs okay and uh, just keep the more you practice sectionals at least when you are attempting raghav give four at least four rcs since you are aiming mainly for 2021 and raghav plus subscription that's the best way in order to ace all of these areas and using the code ritu mba only okay guys take care everyone bye 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 azad and i'll see you all are ha raghav yes correct guys okay everyone take care guys bye bye see you all